Hello friends, welcome to this tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to import drawings from AutoCAD to Orion for your structural design. So this is my icon of Orion. It's my desktop, so it's my icon for Orion. So I'm going to double click on it to launch the program. The program is coming up take a few seconds. So it pops up. I have checked this show at startup, so that's why this is showing at startup this dialog box is showing at startup if i want a quick guide i can just go read up my quick guide and i head straight to my drawing so i'm going to say no i don't want it i'm going to click on that red um, button so this comes up so I'll say open project so these are the projects i've been working on if i want to open any project if i like you can see the previews here as a plan if i want the 3d it does not work because i need to go to the main software to open it so I'm going to say okay no so I have new project project manager delete and all that if I want to manage a particular project I can just click on this here if I want to delete I can just go there and delete a particular project I don't want so this is my project data folder where all my drawings I do on Orion is being uh, stored is stored on uh, my hard drive on the user the public folder inside the documents there in the public folder and Orion 18 in the public folder documents user so that is how it's been stored you can just browse and you can change it if you want to change it but I don't want to change it I'm okay with it so that is it so I have my analysis done so if you look I'm using codes BS8110 1997 is a code I'm using so on this particular structure I have two stories and I have done the analysis so but I don't want to open this so I'm going to say new I'm going to click on new so it comes up say project code so which is the pr new project so it's asking for the project code now I'm going to name my project now in naming my projects uh, there is no space that is allowed. These are the characters that are allowed. You can use an underscore as your space. So I'm doing a drawing for Mr. Felix. So I'm using, a, I prefer using a uppercase. So I'm going to say Mr. Felix. I'm going to hold my shift button and press my underscore. So I'm going to press my underscore. So I'm going to say Felix, Felix Samuel. So I'm still going to, going to hold my shift, my underscore. So I'm going to say Samuel. So this is my name. So if you can see, I use an underscore to separate each of the names. So I'm going to say OK. So it's asking for the particular code I want to use. I'm using BS8110. You can check for the particular code you want to use. If you are using Malaysia, Euro code, UK, Euro code, but I'm using BS. So I'm going to say import the BS for usage. So this is my sheets. So I'm going to say I'm using A1. For my design so I'm going to use a1 later you can change it so uh, if you look at the bottom as a scale so drawing scale 1 is to 50 I'm good with that but detailing scale is 1 is to 20 so no, I'm saying no I'm don't like it I'm going to change it to 1 is to 50 you can change you can leave just for 1 is to 20 or 1 is to 50 I'm going to say okay so it comes up so this is the interface of Orion so this is my sheets of a1 so these are my stories so uh, we need to bring in our drawing so that you can really appreciate what we are doing so uh, this is i'm going to go to autocad so you to go to autocad so this is autocad so this is the particular drawing i want to import so these are the staircase so these are the uh, let me zoom in a little bit so these are classrooms so this is a classroom that means indicates that this might be an institution a school so these are is the lobby so these are the classrooms there's a second floor so according to what the architect sends to me is symmetrical so the first floor the second floor and the third floor is the same so I'm going to import this and duplicate it into three stories so we have, we have done the paneling so you can watch a, a video a previous video on how to do paneling on structures before importing to Orion you can watch it so you will be able to know how to do the paneling so quickly I'm going to close this so I'm going to just go say close and say no to read so I'm going to go to Orion so I'm going to go to file 
I'm going to go to import. So I'm going to go to external reference drawing. So I'm going to say yes, save my drawing. So I say external reference drawing. What type? I'm saying is the DXF. Load the DXF that I'm bringing in because we have saved our drawing as a DXF. So this fairly structure. So I'm going to highlight on it and said open. So the, the DXF you are bringing, what's the unit you want Ryan to know? Is it in cm or in meters? So I'm saying in millimeters. So I'm going to say, okay, you can see our drawing is here. But there are a few colors that were used before. So I'm going to check this button to make sure colors of DXF is intense. I can pull this backward. I can pull it backward. You see, it goes a little bit faint. Can pull it here goes a little bit faint. now the essence of those colors is for you to be able to recognize the, the the structural line so these lines are going to form a grid line so it's for you need to be able to recognize a grid line so that's why I'm using colors but if you don't like it you can as well uh, just use a particular uh, color that you like so I'm going to say um, uh, close if I want to close but I have a problem this my drawing is not on my sheet and if it's not on my sheet to execute a particular command on this auto on this Orion will be a little bit intense so I'm going to move I'm going to move it I'm going to move it I'm going to left click on it and move it hold it down then try to move my mouse I'm going to release so it's a little bit centralized so I'm going to say um, I'm going to say close so I have imported my drawing successfully and ready to do my structural design so this is it guys so how to import AutoCAD drawings to Orion for your structural design please give us a thumbs up if you like our video and do drop a comment and subscribe to our channel for more of our videos coming up